A nationwide shortage on EpiPens is having a ripple effect right here in the Bay Area. Eight on your side's Rod Carter has details. Hey, good evening. A lot of pharmacists are having trouble keeping some of those EpiPens in stock. That's because the FDA has listed the EpiPen on their listing of medications that are in short supply. And that means a lot of parents and people can't get their hands on it. So we need to have two EpiPens for each of us on us at all times. Christine Maldonado told me via FaceTime these EpiPens are life and death to her. She and her daughter have severe allergies and they have to have EpiPens everywhere they go. Um, my daughter just started kindergarten on Monday, so um, she needs to have her EpiPens at school. The problem is they're in short supply. The FDA listed epinephrine on their medication shortage list. And today, the company that makes the EpiPen, Mylan, in conjunction with Pfizer, released a new statement saying they are aware of the shortage and are working to, quote, increase production and stabilize supplies. Some parents, though, have been dealing with this for several months and have now changed medications ahead of the new school year. That's when I reached out and I learned about a program that AviQ has. Uh, it's a it's epinephrine. It's a different injection form. At Tampa General Hospital's pharmacy, this one outgoing prescription of the EpiPen is the only one they had in stock today. Like many pharmacists, they constantly deal with spotty availability. We check every day, and um, we. I do recommend that if patients are having trouble procuring supply, that they work with their uh, physicians. As for Christine, she thinks the manufacturer sees this shortage as a matter of money, you know, supply and demand. But in her eyes, it's so much more. Being a mother and knowing that something could happen to my daughter and she might not have that accessible to her. The best advice is to go ahead and shop around. Now, to give you an idea of just how bad this is, McDill Air Force Base, their pharmacy, posted on Facebook that they actually have a short supply of the EpiPens as well. So they're only giving out one box of adults and two box of juniors, and they're not doing any more refills after that, at least not for now. In Tampa, Rod Carter, News Channel 8.